Good morning, everybody. Hello, hello. 10 o'clock on Friday. We did our Monday class, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and today is Friday. And as promised, we're going to finish our puppet show today. My name is Heather Kamala, and this is our Keto Kids Yoga Circle Time, where I have some art, some story, and a lot of yoga and movement. So it's 30 minutes of fun. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. All right. Hey, good morning. Good morning, Alexandra. Uh, good morning, Bruno. Como estas? Buenos dias, Bruno. Hola. Mira, I made all of this fun stuff for the puppet show. Do you like it? Yay. Well, we are going to make one more puppet and then we're going to do some fun yoga and then we're going to finish our story time. Today's story time is about Nana the monkey and also her cousin who lives in India. And I'll tell you guys all about that. All right. First, of course, I have to tell you about my Keto Kids Club Make a Book. So that's available on our website, ketokidsyoga.com, K-I-D-O, kidsyoga.com. And that's a really fun book where you get to download and make your own binder and make your own book. And I'll keep giving you fun artwork to put in there. So go on over to my website and you can enjoy that wonderful project of making a book and it goes over all of spring and then we do summer and then we do fall and then we do winter so we just go all year round with stories and beautiful art projects and fun movement and yoga and that is our um, passion shall we say okay so today very special day Friday mm -hmm. all right so let's start with some paper. We're going to uh, make one more puppet. So I'm going to get some, I have some leftover paper here. Oh, did you guys see I did that fun art project yesterday, which this is the result. Todo de esto lo hice ayer. Bueno, no todo, pero mucho lo hice ayer. And then we have some leftover little pieces here. Look at that. Little fun pieces that I haven't cut out yet and haven't finished drawing, oh, the little rabbit fell asleep. <laughs> All right, let's see. We have some other fun stuff here. Mm-hmm. Okay, we have some other fun stuff here, a little snake. How about right now, because Sarita the snake is one of our characters, let's do that together, shall we? Okay, I have a piece of paper here and I'm going to take my marker and all my wonderful art supplies. This is where I keep all my teacher supplies. And I'm going to do it together with you. So let's draw it together. Let's see, I will tape it up. Get a piece of tape, my scissors, cut, cut. And we're going to tape this piece of paper up here so you guys can watch me. Let's cut the bottom. When I was a kid, my dad did art with me, and so I'm doing art with you. Hello, Mr. Goofy. All right. So we are going to do Sarita the snake. And Sarita the snake first has a head, which is a circle. You may notice that I usually do a head that's a circle. So Sarita the snake has the head like that. Mm-hmm. And then the eye looks like that. Can you draw the eye? And then, you want to come closer? You want to watch closer? I have to move the camera all the way in. Aha, okay, that's better. And then the body is wiggly, 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 right? So here we have wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And then another wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And that is Sarita the snake. Can you draw that one? Okay. I'm going to use another marker that's a little bit thinner. Let me put my glasses on, of course. Woohoo! Okay. Sarita the snake is friends with Nana the monkey. And Nana the monkey is going to come out 
after when we have our story at the very end. So we have to do our fun yoga and then I'm going to use this one right here. And then afterwards, oh, she has a little tongue like that and she goes, ooh, ooh. and her little nose and her body here. Now, what color should we make Sarita the snake? Are you guys drawing a snake too? Or you can draw anything you want. Let's do, hmm, let's do, Sarita the snake is going to be brown and yellow and gold. That sounds good. Okay, so I'm going to use my marker here, which is this one, my Tombow. And I'm going to make her be yellow. Here we go. Oops, squeaky, squeaky. Is that the sound that she makes? Squeaky, squeaky. And you guys can color in too. You can do it now or you can do it later. Just have fun. Enjoy. All right. Okay, and then the next part is some brown, maybe some brown highlights up here. Yep. And some brown highlights. Sometimes I like to do a darker color on the edge like I did over here on this one. Oops, you can't see that. Like I did right here on this one. Darker color on the edge, lighter on the bottom. There we go. And I think we have finished. Oh, I said a little bit of gold, right? So let me get my gold. I have this Jelly Roll Gold. Look at it, it's sparkly, woo. And then when we draw, we can do some, let's see, how about let's make some hearts, some decorations, and just like some fun stuff, little pictures. You can do anything you want, anything. All right. Usually, it doesn't have to be just perfect, perfect. Usually, you just have fun, and then little by little, if you feel like you made a mistake, then you just cover it up, and maybe I didn't like those hearts, and so I'm just going to draw little lines on top. My dad said, there are no mistakes in art. Yes, my dad, Victor Wong, he was an actor, was in a lot of movies that you probably saw, but... He was also an artist. Okay. <laughs> okay. So then now we're going to, let's move you guys back again. Uh-huh. And I'm going to now cut it out. So we'll leave that for later. And now let's cut it out. Are you ready? And then we're going to put it on a stick. So now you can get your scissors and cut your art. And you don't have to cut it like really close to the edge. Sometimes it's fun if you leave a border around the edge. And then you can color that border like a frame. Ta-da! Oopsie! Ta-da! Hello, my name is Sarita. Ooh. She's a very friendly, friendly snake. And now we need one stick. But before we do that, I think we're going to draw some. Hmm, what color should I do? Maybe some blue? Oh, green. I'll use green. So I have my green Tombow marker. And I'm going to color it. but I need this background so you guys can see me coloring it. And then I'm just gonna color around the edge. Is that fun? Some In my preschool, the kids like to watch me draw. Do you like to watch me draw too? Okay, we can draw together. If you have some paper. And later, will you show me what you drew, please? Thank you. I appreciate it because I like to see, I can't see you guys right now, but later I could appreciate your art. All right, there we go. And so that makes a little like that. Now we're going to put it on a stick. 
or put a stick on it. So what stick shall we use? I have this cool swizzle stick. You know what this was? This was, oh, look, it's still fresh. <laughs> this was one of those, oh, one of those um, light up sticks. And I just realized that it hasn't been used yet. So when I crack it like that, now it's gonna glow. <laughs> so this will be glowing Sarita. Very cool. Aha, uh -huh. it's starting to glow, 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 glow. <laughs> ah, good morning, buenos dias. Ohio, Chiesan. Ohio, Dalia san. Ohio, gozaimas. Good morning to you two. Yes, this is a live video. So if you see this recorded later and you wonder why am I talking to people, that's why. So we're doing this fun puppet show and we just finished our little doo doo. Sarita the snake says, Sss, like that. Mm -hmm. And then we're, in just a minute, we're going to do some yoga. But first, let me tape this one on. Are you guys ready to jump and have some fun? I hope so because I am going to do that. Put my scissors away. I always clean up my art supplies. I'm going to tape on the back. I'm going to tape this little stick. Mm -hmm. And some tape got sort of at the bottom. That's okay. Later I can cut it. All right, there we go. We made a puppet. Good job, you guys. Wow. And Sarita the snake, let's move my art supplies. We do a little cleanup job here, right? This is all part of our Keto Kids Club book. So get yours on our website. And you know that story, Uma and the Crystal Balls? Mm-hmm. Well, guess what? Part of the story is Sarita going to help to find the mermaid and the last crystal ball. Mm -hmm. That's part of the story. And so Sarita the snake, here she is. You see her? She's looking for the crystal ball. She's looking in the tree. No, nope, she didn't find it in the tree. She's looking in the flowers. She's looking at you. Do you have the crystal ball? No? Okay. How about to the birds? Birds, birds, have you seen the crystal ball? And the birds start singing the song. And they say, I hold you, you help me. We grow bigger swimming in the sea. Today, tomorrow, together, forever. And that's the story of the mermaid and the crystal ball. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, yeah, so that's the end of our art project for now. And then we're going to have our little puppet show with that same, all those same characters just in a minute. So first let's do some exercise. Are you guys ready to do some exercise? I'm cleaning up my area, which is a good idea. And then take my glasses off because I don't need those when I'm doing exercise. And then I'm going to move the camera. Yay! So do you see we painted fresh black on our chalkboard and you know what that means? That tomorrow is Saturday and so I'm going to do all new artwork on the back. Are you excited for that? Yeah, it's going to be fun. All right, let's take our sweater off and are you guys ready to do some exercise? Woo, woo, woo. Like the monkey, Hanuman, flying in the air. Shh. Hanuman was the king of the monkeys, but I'm going to tell you that story after. And Nana, Nana, ooh, 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 was the family of Hanuman. And the snakes. Yes. So the first thing we're going to do is make our hearts go boom, boom, boom. Are you ready? Feel your heart right now. This is called resting when we're, our hearts are resting, like sleeping and then we're going to say wake up heart are you guys ready for that so feel your heart right now is it going boom boom i don't think so mine is not is yours unless you were running around just now okay my heart is just relaxed right now boom 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 like mr goofy's drum boom 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 
boom, 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 like that, right? Now, let's get it pumping. Are you ready? So we're going to go knee up, knee up, knee up, knee up. The idea is to go up and down, up and down. So start out slow. Show me your knees up, up and down, up and down. Now go up on your tippy toes, up, 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 high. And we're going to go down, 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 and drum, 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 drum. Oh, this is the way that I like to do it. Stretch one arm up high and wake up, buddy. Wake up, Mr. Worm, and stretch up high. Higher, higher, higher up on your toes. Are you going up? Don't just watch me. You have to do it too. Come on. And down, 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 down. Arriba, abajo. Arriba, abajo. Oh, good job. And how about this? Let's do where we're going to do some kicks. But watch out for your mom and papa. Watch out for your brothers and sisters. We're going to do knee up. I'll show you from the side. Ready? Knee up. Uh-huh. And then step back. Just like this, like you're marching. But only one side. Up and down. Up and down. And then now we're going to let our leg go all the way. Swing. Swing. Good. Swing. Swing. Watch out. Don't kick the furniture. Don't kick anything. Don't kick your, your kitty or your puppy. <laughs> okay. And now I'll do it to the front. So swing forward and back. Forward and back. Good. Forward and back. I'm just kicking. I'm swinging. It's really good. And now other, other knee up and back. Knee up and back. We're going to do the other side now. Up and back. Up and back. Now we're going to do a full swing. Ready? Swing. Watch out. Swing. Don't kick anything. Swing. Ah, does that feel good? Fun. Now I'm going to do it to the front. So swing. Swing. See my arms are twisting too. Swing. Good job. Swing. Yay. Okay. Now twist, twist, twist. Like you're, like you're running. Like you're running. Oh, but I'm not going anywhere. And twist, 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 twist. Wait, wait. I see something. I see something. I see a little boy. I see a little girl. Oh, I see you. Ha <laughs> ha. And wait, oh, I look up and I see the birds flying in the sky. Let's see if I can touch them. Touch the birds. Touch the birds. Touch the birds. Woo. Ah, oh, I couldn't. I couldn't. They flew away. Just like my cat tries to touch the birds. <laughs> but they flew away. All right, now I want you to tell me something. Feel your heart. Okay, I feel my heart is going boom, boom, boom. Nice. Okay, now let's sit down and crisscross applesauce, right? So we're going to sit down here and say one foot on the bottom. There. One foot on top, clap your hands, and then we stop. <laughs> and how about three here, and three here, and three here. If you can't do that, just tap, and three here. Now let's try one each. Ready? One, 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 one. One more time. One, one. Ah, very good. Did you, have, did you do a good job with that one? Was it difficult or easy? Okay, if it was too easy, how about two, one, two, one. Aha! Uh -huh. Different patterns. That helps our, our mind to wake up and our body to wake up. So let's do it one more time. Two, one, two, one. Two, one, two, one. Was that too easy? Hmm? How about go a little bit faster? <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. Well, let's start with our yoga rhyme. Our yoga rhyme in the Keto Kids Yoga class starts like this. Do you guys know it by now? We've been doing this a lot of days. Today is number 25. We've done 25 circle times. So good job, everybody. We say this is our roof keeps us dry and what? That's right, dry and warm. Bring hands together, right? All the way here, our heart is our home. 
and then a little namaste, a little bow. I put my head down, I bow, just like Uma the horse bows when he thinks nobody's watching. Remember the story yesterday? Bow a little bit, or big one, big one, put your hands down and go all the way, stretchy, 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 ooh, feels so good. All right, feet together, butterflies, knees down low, nose to your toes, how low can you go? Get your spiders, crawl out, ooh, stinky toes. <laughs> Okay, let's hold our little baby. We're going to take our little baby and hold our baby. Oh, I love my baby so much. Oh, I'm going to kiss my little... Ooh, stinky diaper. <laughs> ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? Mi niño tiene pañal y huele. Ooh. <laughs> All right, let's clean the baby's diaper. <laughs> Yay, and put our baby to sleep. All right, otro lado. Let's do the other side. Hold your baby. Oh, I love my baby so much. Mm. Oh, my baby smells so good. I have two babies. One baby on that side and one baby on this side. We could call baby right, baby left. <laughs> All right. And then from here, we are going to put our baby to sleep. Night, night, baby. Night, night. Ah, good job, you guys. Yay! You put your babies to sleep. And now we're going to do another rhyme. And this one is the tick-tock, tick-tock, ding-dong, ding-dong, you know? Tick-tock, tick-tock, ding-dong, ding-dong. We're going to stretch our neck. This is the goal. Touch your neck. Ah, yeah, touch your neck. Are you touching your neck, Bruno? Dalia? Toca tu cuello. Eso. Un masaje. Okay, ready? We say the face of my clock says tick tock, tick tock. Who's ringing at my door? Ding dong, ding dong. And now we're gonna go tick tock, tick tock, ding dong, ding dong, tick tock, tick tock, ding dong, ding dong. Ding, dong. Oh, oh my gosh, that was a lot of exercise. Oh, that felt really good. And if you reach your hand all the way up and reach over and pull, feels great. Other side, reach your hand up and pull and squeeze stinky cheese. <laughs> One more time, ready? Squeeze stinky cheese. <laughs> we have a lot of stinkies today. Baby diaper, the toes, the, the cheese. <laughs> That's three stinkies. <laughs> All right, you guys. Now let's do some standing up poses. So how do we stand up? That's right, we're going to push ourselves up. I'm not sitting down. I'm not sitting down, I'm up. And I'm going to clap my hands and I'm going to push my hands out like that. Ooh, to one side. Push my hands out to one side. You know what I'm even gonna do? I'm gonna put my hands way down here and wrap my arm around. Can you grab your hand on the other side? Can you grab it? Ooh, that feels good. Okay, let go. Let go, let go. How about put your hands to the middle? Put your hands to the middle. Now wrap your hand. I'll show you what it looks like. I'm gonna walk like a frog and wrap one hand around there and wrap one hand the other side and grab and pull. Ooh, could you do that? Or something like that? Oh my goodness, that feels great. Wake up body, we say. And now we're going to raise our seat like this. So I can show you, I'm gonna turn, but you can stay where you are. Raise our seat, let your head hang down, and bend your knees and roll up. Swish out your air. And then pull in your air. Ah. How does that feel? Does that feel great? I feel great. Can you guys say that? I feel great. Show me number one. One, 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 one. Now keep your ones. Open your legs. That's open. Open and hands all the way up. My friend Michael Larson taught me this. He said, yeah, if you do that, he said, it makes you feel good. Yeah. <laughs> How about this? I feel great. Let's say it again. I feel great. We're stretching 
and saying those things, oh, it's wonderful. All right, we're going to do a little bit more yoga and then we'll finish with our story. We're almost done with our 30 minutes. Whoa! What happened? That was really fast. Let's see. Let me check in with my people. How are you guys doing today? Are you liking this? Do you have any of your ideas that you want to tell me? Why don't you tell me what your ideas are? Your favorite yoga pose? How about tell me what is your favorite part of your Keto Kids yoga class? Mm -hmm. Let me know. <laughs> okay, let me know. Ooh. All right, we're going to do a little bit more yoga, and you know what I love to do at the end. Do you guys remember? What is one of my favorite yoga poses at the end? It's called the tree pose. So here we go. We're going to balance up and put our foot down. It's like Uma the horse. Balance up and put our foot down, right? Okay, I see somebody's writing me. Uh-huh, that's your favorite part? Is that Bruno? Bruno, te gusta mucho la yoga? Yay! Que bien, que bien, mi amor. Me encanta que te gusta. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. One foot up, one foot down. One foot up, one foot down. Now I'm going to balance. Put one foot up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can you guys do that? How about for the grown-ups, can you balance up? Shh, and glue your foot there and hold. How about hands up? My foot's slipping down. Whoa! Okay, and how about the other side? Up. Whoa, 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 little one. Bigger, 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 bigger. And how about pull your leg up, grown ups or older children? Hold, squeeze your thigh and your foot together. Shoulders back, knee back, hips open, heart open, shoulders back. Ah, balance. And Stretch way up to the sky and then come back down and relax. Yay, we did it. We did a lot of yoga, even just that few little bit minutes of yoga. And now guess what time it is? Time for our story at the very end. And the story today, guess what it's going to be? That's right. The story today is going to be our puppet show. Uh-huh. These are all of our little characters that I've been working on, and I hope that you guys have been at home, too. We have a lot of different puppets that we've been making, and now it's time for the story. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yay! Okay. Once upon a time, there was a land that was filled with colors. Beautiful, beautiful colors. Yay! Wonderful! Magdalena, thank you! Maya, thank you! I'm glad that you love the story time. Then this is for you, Maya, and I bet Mila too, right? What is your favorite, Mila? Ah, my little sweethearts? All right. So, and how about Dahlia? What is Dahlia's favorite? I wonder. Later, maybe my friend Greta and my friend Amelia will watch too. Let's see. I'm not sure. All right, so once upon a time in this beautiful land full of colors, everything was very colorful. The trees were colorful like a rainbow. The ladybugs were colorful. And even the little houses where the little uh, bugs lived inside the mushrooms were very colorful. And so in this land lived somebody named, ooh, 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 named who? That's right, Nana. That's Nana the monkey. And Nana was a very, very special, special monkey that she liked to hang out in the trees, that's true, but she also had a special wish. Do you guys have a special wish? Do you wanna make a special wish? Okay, I'm gonna to count to three and then you make your special wish and you can tell me what your special wish is. Okay, ready? One, two, three. <gasps> ah, okay, I grabbed it. I got your special wishes. Now I'm gonna put them in my pockets. Chick. All right, I got it. And so her special wish, none of the monkey's special wish was to fly. 
But monkeys can't fly, can they? Do monkeys have wings? How do they fly? Well, guess what? This little monkey kept looking up, looking up, up, up at all of the birds. And the monkey said, I wish that I could fly like all of the birds. But the bird said, you can't fly. <laughs> you can't fly. And, and the monkey said, but I remember, I remember when I used to live in India, when I was little, I had a friend, a cousin, a cousin who was also my dear friend. And you know what the cousin's name was? Hanuman. Hanuman the monkey king, because Hanuman became the monkey king. And here is Hanuman flying over the sky. And this is what Nana remembered. The story of Hanuman was that Hanuman was just a regular monkey, but little by little, as children do, they said, I can do anything that I put my mind to. And so Hanuman the monkey said, I want to fly all the way to the sun. And so Hanuman the monkey would jump up and get all the way to the sun and then go back down and jump up and get all the way. It was hot, 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 and then come all the way back down. And that's how little by little Hanuman learned how to fly. Can you imagine that? Yes, and so then later Hanuman became the monkey king. And that is what Nana remembered. And Nana said, I can fly like that too. I just have to call Hanuman. So let's see. <coughs> let's see, everybody, you help me, okay? Let, when I count to three, you're going to shout for Hanuman. We're going to go like this and shout, Hanuman! Can you guys help me do that? Okay. <coughs> I think I need some water. Oh, I can wait a minute. All right. So when I count to three, we're going to shout Hanuman. Are you ready? One, two, three. Hanuman! Did you do it? Oh, I don't know if Hanuman is coming. Let's try one more time. One, two, three. Hanuman! Ah, shoo! Hanuman returned. And Nana said, hey, my cousin, my cousin, my friend. Yes, how can I help you, said Hanuman. And Nana said, I want to learn how to fly. Teach me how to fly. <coughs> and then Hanuman said, just wish for it and then it will come true. But you have to work really, really hard and don't give up. Goodbye. <coughs> and then Hanuman put the idea in Nana's head. <coughs> and then Nana said, I can do it, I can do it. Can you guys say, I can do it, I can do it, yes. And so then she started jumping up jumping up, jumping up, and then she got all the way to the sun and she got high and she said, I'm flying, I'm flying. And the birds looked up and the birds said, oh my goodness gracious, I can't believe that that monkey with no wings is flying up even higher than us. How is that possible? And then she kept floating up like a balloon and up and up and up and up and up and up. And then she went all the way away and the birds looked up and the birds looked and the birds said, where did she go? Tweet, 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 tweet. And they did it. Do you see her? Do you see where Nana went? Mm. I guess she went away. And that is the end of that story. The end. And at my school, when I say the end and I bow, all the kids have to clap. So clap. Yay. When somebody makes a show, then we can. We can clap for them. All right, my friends. Well, that's the end of our circle time for today. Thank you for coming. And today, yes, it's Friday. And we're going to not see you tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday. But I will see you again on Monday, okay? So come back on Monday and enjoy your weekend. And remember, I love you so much wherever you are. Mwah! Have fun. Enjoy stories, yoga, art. Bye.